Bada bing, bada boom. Social Inform Media. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, let me just talk to you real quick. I'm gonna share a video link with you in below. Why am I not giving you footage of it? Because everybody's getting freaking butt hurt over, don't play my stuff. So, okay, but I'll put a link to it down below. And I put this in the community tab as well. Some of you may have already seen it. Some of you may have already clicked on it. But if not, a link to this full video will be in the description box below. Tomorrow, I may not have an editorial. We'll see kind of how it goes, play it by ear. Uh, tomorrow's kind of a weird day at work. But Tuesday, we're back on track. Every day, we're going to have an editorial story for you in the morning. Um, I, I'm going to have videos tomorrow, but it may be cop watching videos. But we'll see if I can get a story in. If not, Tuesday, we're back on track. There we go. Uh, but this one here, I'm going to put a link to it in the description box below. But I'm going to talk a little bit about it just for a few minutes here. And that way, when you go to watch it, you'll kind of know some of the things to look for. There's an old adage, and in the movie, I'm, I'm a big movie buff, so I'm going to be referencing some movies. But in the movie, Find Me Guilty, Ron Silver, the great late, the late great Ron Silver, who played the judge, tells Vin Diesel's character, you know, when you're your own lawyer, you have a fool for a client. Right? When you're your own lawyer, you have a fool for a client. And nothing could be truer than when you watch this video in the link uh, description box below direct D playing his own defense attorney now nothing against the guy I got nothing against the guy but it was awkward to listen to I, I had to listen to it I kept stop watching and then coming back to it uh, three or four times because it's just I felt awkward like I just, like felt bad for the guy listening to him ask these questions and you know being a trial lawyer isn't just about asking questions to try to prove your case. You have to know which questions to ask and you have to presuppose what his answers will be or her answers will be back to you when you ask a question. Uh, his video is titled, Two Cops Destroyed in Court, Two Cops Owned or whatever it is. I don't think they got destroyed. I think they pretty much spun the tables on you. But uh, you have to know what questions to ask and you have to know what they're going to say back to you. There's a movie called A Few Good Men. Some of you may have seen it. Where Tom Cruise and Kevin, uh, <clears throat> what's his name? <clears throat> the two attorneys preparing in court. And remember Tom Cruise goes, was there any sign of a struggle? And remember Kevin, the other attorney says, you mean other than the dead body? And remember Tom Cruise goes, I walk into that every time. That's kind of what Direct D's examinations were. Uh, every time he'd ask a question, I mean, he asked some good questions. I'm going to give him some props. There were some questions in there. I was like, okay, that's a good question. Uh, but for the most part, he would ask a question and the attorney, uh, the cop would go, yes or no. And I'd be like, oh, you walked into that one. Ouch. You know, you got to know before you ask that question, you got to think, what's he going to say to me? Direct D would say, so you think I was acting aggressive? And the officer would be like, yes, I believe you were. Oh, walked into that one. Oops, you know, you don't want that. You're not trying to prove the prosecution's case. Okay, when you're asking questions, you're trying to prove your own case. You're trying to prove, you're trying to put doubt in the minds of not only the judge, but whoever else is listening. I don't think there was a jury here. I think it's just a... Um, uh, I forget what they call it, a trial with just the judge and the prosecutor. But you want to prove your case, not his. So he would ask questions like, so you think I was yelling? Yes, I, you were. Oops, you know. Um, but I put a link to it below. You guys got to go watch it. It's, I'm not a lawyer. I just play one on YouTube. But no, I'm not an attorney, but I have taken law classes in college. I have. Not because I wanted to be a lawyer, because I wanted to be a cop, uh, which I don't anymore. I, pff, mm -hmm. Stab me with a fork if I even 
mention wanting that anymore. But <laughs> with a spork, rip my heart out. At least I didn't use a spoon. Another movie reference. Um, but you know what I mean? I, I know a little bit about what it takes to go through a trial, per se. I mean, I, I like I say, I've taken courses in college just enough to get me in trouble, right? Just enough to where I can be like, you know, I'm master of nothing, right? But I do have some education behind me when it comes to trial law. And in the end, as I'm, I was listening to Direct D, I was kind of gauging the questions he was asking and so forth. He asked one particular question about ADHD and the prosecution came up and did a re-examination um, and basically cut up his direct. Get it? His direct. <laughs> Some of you who know court slang might get that. Direct D needs to work on his direct. All right? Because it wasn't that good. Go check it out.